Hi guys, how are you? Here is a very interesting question. This substrate is treated with NBU3 SNCL, NBH4 AIBM, then H2SO4 CRO3. So this reagent NBU3 SNCL NBH4 it produces NBU3 SNH in C2. In C2, it generates NBU3 SNH. So, in presence of AIBN, AIBN is azoisobutyronitrile. That is CS3, C, CS3, CN, C, sorry, N, N, C, CS3, CS3, CN. This is Azo amino usually azo isobutyronitrile. There is a double bond here. So this bond will cleave homolytically to produce N2 gas plus two isobutyronitrile radical. Now this radical is a stable radical because here this triple bond n it can come into resonance with this cyanide group so so it is a stable radical this radical will react with the in situ bu 3 snh which produced in the action mixture as snh bond is very weak so it generates sn bu 3 radical plus now this is a very active radical it will react with this hydride sorry halide the carbon halogen bond will break OVT so SN NBU3 radical will form another radical which is this now from this radical two addition reaction can take place that is it may attack into this end or it may attack into this end let's say this is a this is b so from a attack we will get one your OVT group is there one two three four five member ring let's say this is B attack this is A attack so a five member ring will be formed your OVT here so if it attack here then pi bond will break and one radical will be here and another possibility is here so here a six member ring will be formed OAT and the radical will be here so here if it attack here then the radical will be here so for B attack it will be the product now from this A it will take one hydrogen from this HSNBU3 so the product will be 
over two. This, this. Now, if it is oxidized with with H two so four CrO three CrO three H two so four. This is Jones oxidation. Jones oxidation. It is called Jones reagent. It will oxidize this acetal to keto group, a carbonyl group. That means it will be a ester. Now we have to determine the stereochemistry of these two group. That is whether these two are in same direction. That is in cis position. Or they are in trans direction. So in five member ring, when the ring closing reaction will occur, when it will attack, this group will go anti to this group. That is, if it is above the plane, then it will go below the plane. So if we draw this above the plane, then it will go below the plane. Again, if we draw this above the plane. Will go below the plane. So if it is above, it is below. So this will be one product, and another product will be from this. From this, we will get O T. This it will take one hydrogen. From HSN BO three, and it will convert it into this. Then after Jones oxidation, Jones oxidation, it will be a keto. That means it will be a ester. But between these two, this will be the major product because here. The formation rate of formation of five member ring, rate of formation of five member ring will be higher than the rate of formation of six member ring. But if we compare the stability of these two radical, then the stability will be higher for six member radical because it is two degree, and it is one degree. So the stability is higher for this radical. But as the rate of formation. Or five member ring is higher than six member ring, so this product will be the major product. So if the two groups are on the same side, then the steady crowding will be higher. But if these two group are in opposite side, then the steady crowding will be less. And this is that's why, if it is above the plane, then the uh, this radical will form from below the plane to reduce the steady crowding between these two group. So guys, if you have any doubt regarding this video, please let me know in comment box. To get such interesting videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.